And welcome to today's update video. Today, the Welsh ponies are finally getting their long deserved upgrade. So, we are going to go right ahead and jump into this. I believe there are seven variations to choose from. I don't know if they're all in self hoof, but I do know you need to be friendly with the hermit in order to get them. So, we have we are already here. It's where I made sure to log out of when I uh, logged out last. So we are going to go ahead and go see the new Lush Ponies, see if there are seven. Even, I have no idea. But we're gonna go find out, so let's get started. Oh my goodness, I see very cute ponies! Alright, so there's the Black and the Bay Roan. That's the Palomino, the Chestnut, and the Liver Chestnut. So I do think there is another color, I believe it's the white. So I guess that one's in Fort Pinta? So we're gonna go ahead real quick. Fort Pinta before we come back here. Okay, yep. Here is the white one. That is in Fort Pinta, which it's so cute. I love the little pawing motion it makes. And I love those green eyes. That's uh, I'm very happy that they went with non-traditional eye colors. At least for this one. I think the green and green eyes are very fabulous on the white. Uh, but very cute. I do have my heart set on other ones though, uh, as of right now, but if they had, the other one, uh, ones that I didn't want weren't so great, I wouldn't have, I probably would have picked this one, but I do have others that I do want to get. So we're going to go ahead and go back to South Hoof. Alright you guys, so we are back in South Hoof at the Hermit's Cottage, so I will stretch you this, bleh. So I will stress that you guys do need to be friendly with the hermit. I'm pretty sure pretty much everyone's friendly with the hermit as of now. If you haven't done so already, you do need to build your reputation to get one of these ponies. And I am literally just going off the top of my head here because the news isn't even up yet. But I do know you do actually need to be friendly with the hermit in order to get these ponies. So... We are going to start off by getting this one. How could I not say no to a Bay Roan pony? How could I not? Uh, so, when I saw this pony in the trailer, it was absolutely so cute my heart burst. Because we definitely don't have enough Bay Roans in the game right now. And hopefully this year that's where that hopefully will change. And it's such a cute Bay Roan pony. And I'm absolutely in love. How can you not be in love with those green eyes, that face, that head marking? How can you not be in love? And the idle animations? Way too cute. So we're going to go ahead and buy this one. And I have all my names picked out. That's what I did yesterday. So here we go. Alright, so this is going to be Coyote Ghost. I think the colors really go well with the name Coyote. Um, and I think he's very, very cute. So we're going to go ahead and pick on him. Because I just have to. He's way too cute. I can't say no. Okay, so since we got that one, I know another one that I absolutely must have. Because look at those leg markings. And look at that face. I cannot say no. So we absolutely have to get... The liver chestnut, look how, I think those are golden eyes. I think, I have no idea, let me look. Hold the phone. Those golden eyes, ooh, hello. Those are like really beautiful, like golden brown eyes. All right, so yeah, that that's just, definitely I have to get this horse now, no question about it. And I have the, again, the perfect name for this horse, amazingly. I've been picking out really good names. So his name is going to be Autumn Paladin. I think it goes very nice. 
as a whole, so we're gonna go ahead and get him. Okay, so I turned off my camera for a minute to decide oh, which ones that I want out of these two, and I think I have to go with the Palomino. Now, I would absolutely buy all five, but I'm still very much in the heap of just, like, training tons of horses. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the Palomino, and then I'm gonna do the black behind me. The chestnut's absolutely so adorable, though. Oh, they're all so cute. Star Stable, why do you do this to me? Um, but yeah, we're gonna finish up with the Palomino and the black, uh, Welsh Pony, and that's gonna be our horses. I mean, look at those beautiful brown eyes. And those little white markings on the legs. I can't say no. I just literally can't say no. Alright, so this is gonna be Sunny Willow. I think it's a very appropriate name for her. So we're gonna go ahead and buy her. Alright, you guys. And the last one is going to be this black beauty over here. I absolutely in love with, like, the purplish gray eyes. I did go around and, like, looked at their, all of their eye colors and, oh, they're just so gorgeous and so cute and so sassy. And I just have to have at least four. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get him now and complete our little collection of Welsh ponies. Alright, so his name is going to be Lost Soul, and once you see his nickname at the end of the video, the name will actually make sense. So that's Lost Soul, and we're gonna go ahead and buy him, and we're gonna go check out our new ponies. So let's go. And next we have Autumn Paladin, which I think is a very appropriate name for him with his beautiful liver chestnut coloring. And I definitely want to highlight his legs here, because look at that leg markings! Oh, the leg markings are just so gorgeous. He's so handsome, too. I love the little lip marking on his little lip there. He is just... They did really good with these horses, especially texture-wise. Very, very nice. Alright, and we're going to talk about Miss Sunny Willow over here, because she has some very, very cool markings. Look at that Sabino! Look how cool! It's, oh, it's so unique. Hang on, let me see if I can take a picture here. Look how cool that looks. That's just so stinking cool. I absolutely love it. And her dapples are impressive. All the textures just look so lovely. And those beautiful golden eyes. I want to say they're more like orange. Now that I'm looking at them, but still, so, so pretty. Such a good job. I'm so impressed. And, yeah, I'm just really impressed with these horses. Well, they're ponies, but you know what I mean. And last but not least, we have Lossel here. And look at that little heart marking on his head. Oh, so cute. And the little leg marking. I don't know if he has one in the back there. I can't really tell. I don't think so. I think that's his only leg marking is the one in the front, if I'm correct. And those eyes, which I will take a picture real quick, are purple. Purple eyes! Come on, man! Oh, just so cool. I'm very, very impressed. Very happy with the new Welsh ponies. Very, very impressed. Okay, you guys. So we have new beautiful uh, English style bridles that we are going to check out. Look how pretty they are. They almost look bejeweled. Uh, headbands, nice little nose band, very very cute. I really don't buy much English stuff, but these are very pretty. Uh, let's see all the colors. We have a brown and silver. What do you think is a darker brown? Uh, a lighter brown with silver, a white version, which is very pretty. I think it's a white and silver. Uh, the black and silver version, which I showed you guys. Uh, a little dark brown and so uh, gold, light brown and gold, a white and gold, a black and a black and gold, which is very nice. All very nice. Um, so here we had next we have these cute little 
show halters, which are very, very cute. Not really my thing. I've never really brought any of the Arabian show halters, and maybe I should. Um, I'm just not feeling them. I'm feeling more so the English bridles. And look how cute this is. A little daffodil uh, headpiece, which is so cute. I absolutely have to get that, so that's a definite. Um, I am going to go ahead and get a black English bridle for the ponies. So we'll go ahead and buy that and call it a day. All right, you guys, so here we are to test out their gates and animations. Obviously, you've kind of seen the idle animations. So we're gonna go right ahead and jump into this. All right, so here is the walk. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy. And by the way, how cute do they look in Western? I think they look insanely adorable. All right, so here is the trot. Very nice. Nice, cute, working little trot you would expect a pony to have. So, very cute. And again, I, if anyone new is watching, I don't really judge how the rider looks because our riders are to be updated anyway. All right, so here is the canner. Which, very, very cute. So far, I'm liking everything I'm seeing here. It has a nice little head bob to it. I'm just liking everything I'm seeing so far. Alright, so here is the slow gallop. Very nice. I like how the head goes down a little bit. The ears are kind of not all the way far back. Very nice. Just looks very well put together. And here is the fast gallop, which I absolutely love. It's so cute. It's nice. It flows nice together. It just looks really, really good. I am quite impressed of how good these ponies look. All right, so here is the sliding stop, which actually it's very cute. Let me go this way. It's like a cute little kind of western sliding stop. So it's actually really cute. I like it. So here's the jump. Very nice. I'm not seeing any sort of technical issues. Everything looks well put together. And these ponies are, um, I believe in real life, uh, they're very excellent at show jumping. So I expect them to have a very nice little uh, jump. And I love how they look on the downfall. It's so much sass. These ponies have so much sass. It's great. Uh, but yeah, very nice. Alright, so let's see the rear. Oh, come on. That's so cute. That is too cute for words. Alright, so the turn radius is very cute. Alright, so these horses do have a special anime. Well, ponies. I should just say that they're ponies, but we rarely get ponies, so forgive me if I'm messing up on that part. So, they do have a special animation. Oh, come on. How cute is that? So much sass. So, hang on. Oh, it's so cute. It's like when they get excited. Cute. So, all in all, very nice job on these ponies. I think I'm actually going to say it. I think I actually have a new favorite in Pony. I'm actually going to say it. And, yeah, I do have a new favorite. So... Out of five stars, I would definitely give these ponies a 4.8 stars. They are just so cute and put together. And really, I thought their eyes would kind of bother me. Thinking the eyes are too big. And I don't think they're... I think they're perfect as is. Because I've seen... From pictures I've seen, they, they normally tend to have larger eyes. But the large eyes show um, that the pony or horse is very kind. So, I do think it just fits. So yeah, 4.8 stars. That's what, I, what I'm going to... Yes, 4.8 stars are what, what I'm going to give these ponies. Great job, Star Stable. Alright, you guys. That's pretty much it for this week's update video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. But before we end this video off, I do want to note something that Star Stable put in the news. That there is the Alcaltex... If I'm saying that right, if I'm not, I apologize. Uh, the Appaloosas from the Generation 1.5 that can currently be found at Fernand's Horse Market are leaving us for greener pastures on April 6th. So if you remember the uh, 
I believe it was the fjords that left. Uh, and now we are obviously having the Akultex and the Appaloosas from Gen 1.5 leaving us as well. Which, I, this was going to happen. Star Stable talked about this way, way back. Um, but obviously you have till April 6th. So this is like at least over a month to get these horses. Um, so if you do want to get them, I definitely would recommend you do that whenever is possible um, by April 6th. Uh, this is something that I, I, I kind of understand why it has to happen. Um, especially for game development and, and whatnot. But if you do own these horses, these horses aren't going away. It's just they won't be available for sale any longer. Um, so with that said, these new world ponies are absolutely adorable. They are chunky. They are sassy. They are so stinking cute. I'm absolutely over the moon with them. They are way too cute for words. Um, and with that said, that's pretty much it. Please let me know which ones are your favorite in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. And that's pretty much it. And next week you guys get to join us for, yes, you, you're hearing me right, the story quests. We get to join uh, Lisa and Linda on Finding Anne, but there are mysterious forces trying to stop us the dark riders maybe we don't know we're gonna find out um yeah and that's pretty much it as always you guys remember to keep it positive happy trails everyone i will see you in the next video bye